Hi everyone, so this is my established rosemary plant here. I've had it for a few years. You can see that it's very woody. It's got a lot of new growth going on too, which is great. So it's thriving and it's doing well. Now, rosemary is one of the most popular herbs people like to have around the house. Um, and generally that's because it serves a lot of uses, right? It smells great. It's very useful for cooking. At the same time, you know, when it does flower, it helps attract pollinators. Uh, those pollinators end up working throughout your garden, pollinating all types of other plants. So it's very helpful. Now, another great thing about rosemary is that it does really well in pots. So if you live in a colder climate like I do, um, here in, in southern Ontario, you know, it's easy to pop inside in the winter and in the fall, you know, and it'll live well. Um, it'll thrive as you can see that mine is doing here. Now, the main drawback with rosemary is that their seeds seem to take forever to germinate. Okay, and then by the time the plant even establishes itself, you're looking at like a two year, one and a half years, two years before you can really start using a lot of the rosemary leaves coming off that plant because they do take a while to get going and, and to grow. So it really leaves you with two options. You can either buy young plants from a nursery or you can take cuttings. Today I'm going to talk to you about taking cuttings because uh, they're free. Okay, why spend those three or four bucks on a plant? I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but why spend those three or four bucks on a plant when you can just take a cutting from an established plant that you have and grow as many really as you want? So I've popped my rosemary plant here up on the table so we can have a little better look at it. Um, when it comes to taking cuttings, what we want to do is we want to look for new growth. Now the way to identify new growth is to look at the stem and you can actually see the transition from color on the stem here. So, you know, from brown to green, this green is new growth. I've always had more success, success um, planting new growth. So that's what I'm going to try and do here today. I just want to find a couple long pieces. I identify those and we're going to take them, we're going to cut them, we're going to pop them in some water and they'll start to root. So we've got a nice long shoot here that you can see. I'm going to take this, I'm going to cut it just where it starts to transition. Now I like to take more than one cutting, so what I'm going to do is probably find a few more. And it's pretty easy, you try and cut below a leaf node here, makes it ideal. And we'll go with one more. So again, you're looking where it's more supple. So we're back and I've got my three cuttings that we just took. I brought them in so we can have a good look at them. Um, and I'll show you the steps that we're going to take. So you're going to pick up your cutting. Let's start with this big one here. And what you want to do is you want to remove most of these leaves. Okay, they're going to help us uh, avoiding moisture loss. At the same time, they're going in the water anyways, this part of the plant, so they don't really serve any purpose anymore. So I've cleared off all those leaves, and I've still got a little bit of growth at the top. Okay, so this one's pretty much ready to go. Like I said, you're going to want to cut it originally below a leaf node. That makes it a lot easier for us if you do that at the beginning. If you didn't do that at the beginning, it's okay. Um, just find your lowest leaf node or your second lowest and cut just below that like I did here okay now once you've done that literally all you need is a glass of water and you're gonna pop your stem in okay and you're gonna leave it for now then you'll take care of the other two so again you just take your rosemary give it a pull take off all those leaves now don't throw out these leaves they're great for cooking. Um, you can dry them if you want and store them for the whole year. So again, I'm just going to pop that guy in the water. And here's our last cutting. So this one here has lots of growth going on. I'm just going to yank that off and just really just clean this up. Okay, so that's ready into the glass of water it goes. So here it is. 
and voila. So you could have used uh, rooting powder, I guess, but that's an added cost and really it's not necessary. It might help it root a little bit quicker. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave these in the glass. I'll probably change the water once a week or so. And from there, we're going to wait until the roots have, have started to take hold. Um, in this case, you probably want to see five to ten roots growing on each stem before you try and transplant them into some potting mix. And I'll give you an update as this keeps going, but you can see right now that they're submerged there, those stems. And what's going to happen is that they will start to root. Okay, so we've popped our rosemary cuttings into this glass of water. Like I said uh, before, there's a few different ways that you can do this. Some people like to use rooting powder, but why pay an added cost when you don't need to? What's going to end up happening with this rosemary here is that these stems will start to root. Now, as soon as they start to root, you don't want to transplant. You want to wait. Okay, you want to wait until you've got at least five or ten roots, five to ten roots coming off of these, and they've got a bit of length with them. And it might take two to three weeks to see that happening. And I'll give you an update here in a few days to see how they're starting to root. And later on, we'll walk through a tutorial of how to transplant them. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.